University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, two universities close contemporaries of each other and both with sizeable student bodies are playing tonight for a place in the second round. The losers could live to fight another day if they do well enough. The University of Birmingham owes much of its existence to the 19th century Mason College, founded by a local bigwig who built up his fortune by making pens and key rings. Championed by Joseph Chamberlain, it received its royal charter in 1900, making it one of the first of the universities to be dubbed Red Brick, in this case a reference to the architecture of Aston Webb. Edward Elgar was a professor of music there, and alumni include Victoria Wood, Tim Curry, Chris Addison, Tamsin Gregg, and the goddess Anne Widdicombe. With an average age of 22 and representing around 35,000 students, let's meet the Birmingham team. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm from Brockenhurst in Hampshire, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm from Monmouth in South Wales, and I'm studying physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm from Thornbury in South Gloucestershire, and I'm studying medicine. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm from Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire, and I'm studying for a Master's in Maths. The University of Bristol was born of chocolate and cigarettes with donations from the Fry family of chocolatiers and the Wills Tobacco Empire. It was chartered in 1909. Its alumni include the physicist Paul Dirac, the author Angela Carter, the actors Emily Watson and Simon Pegg, and the performers David Williams and Matt Lucas. The author David Nichols was also a student there. Tonight's team consists of four physical scientists representing a student body of over 23,000 and with an average age of 20. So let's meet the Bristol team. Hi, I'm Ben Allen from South Buckinghamshire and I'm studying aerospace engineering. Hello, I'm Dan Hawkins. I'm from Loxheath in Hampshire and I'm studying geology. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Laura Denton. I'm from Winchester in Hampshire and I'm studying geology and biology. Hi, I'm Ben Joynson. I'm from Nailsworth in Gloucestershire and I'm studying chemistry. OK, the rules are the same as ever. Starter questions are solo efforts answered on the buzzer and bonuses are team efforts. You can confer on them. Right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. It was announced in 2018 that The Testaments would be the sequel to which dystopian novel of 1985? Its author said the new work had been... Bristol Allen. A Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale is correct, yes. So you get the first set of bonuses then, Bristol. They're on two-word terms. What precise two-word term in English can be applied both to around 35 to 40 species in the genus Dolico Vespula and to a political movement that became particularly apparent on November the 17th, 2018? Yellow jackets. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, so is that just... So Dolico... Yellow jackets. Yellow jackets. Correct. What two-word term links an Irish idiom meaning to put the national interest first and the item worn by the winner of the points competition in the Tour de France? Is it the yellow jersey? It's the yellow jersey. Yeah, that's the winner, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, because it's yellow. Yeah. Yellow jersey. No, it's the green jersey. That's a, the Irish expression, put the green jersey on. Created by P.G. Woodhouse, Roderick Spode, is a designer of ladies' lingerie and a would-be fascist dictator whose followers are known by what two-word term denoting an item of clothing? Is it the brown shirt? Well, the black shirt is mostly, so it's probably a parody of that. Do you think it could be? Oh, it's going to be something else. Cause that, cause brown isn't, shirts was... Isn't that a bit more Nazi? That's a Nazi. So could it be, or is it going to be something a bit more ridiculous, Generally, like, like pink shirts? Or, or pink blouses or something. Pink blouses? That's a bit of a yeah, like that. Do you think? Yeah. Pink blouses. No, it's simpler than that, but it is ridiculous. It's the black shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for this. Meanings of what eight-letter term include an embankment set up behind a target on a rifle range, a fielding position in rounders and baseball, and a point of negotiation in the... Birmingham skull for Backstop. Backstop is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions on a consumable product for your bonuses, Birmingham. What familiar consumable is produced from the dried and fermented seeds of an evergreen tree of the genus Theobroma? 
Chocolate. Okay. Chocolate? Correct. The flowers of the Teobroma cocoa are said to be coliferous, meaning that they develop on what part of the tree? Um, Branch. Branch? I'll accept that, yes, or trunk, yes, yes. Uh, reigning from 1502, which Aztec emperor was said to have been a prodigious consumer of chocolate and is thought to have popularised it with the conquistadors following a meeting in Tenochtitlan in 1519? Moctezuma. Moctezuma II is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in Lincolnshire in 1877, Janet Lane Claypon pioneered the use of control studies to make public health decisions. She's seen as a founder of which science? Ah. Crystal Denton. Epidemiology? Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Bristol, are on pairs of words that differ only in the substitution of a letter E for a letter U. For example, fuel and feel, or bunch and bench. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, an alternative by name of Pedro the Just of Castile and a large wicker basket often used by anglers. By anglers, like a, um, a pot and a... Like a lobster cage? Yeah, yeah. Is cage. it a cage or a pot? Cage, or a... Cage, you know, um, but uh, do you know with the monarch? It can't, it can't be a cage, can Pedro it? Pedro the Just, he's Pedro. Pedro. No, Pedro someone did a Brazil, Pedro the Second, he's the... Is he... No, no, it's, you don't know. No. The Cusian cage? No, it's cruel and creel. Secondly, a vessel carried by Hebe or Ganymede and an edible brown-capped boletus mushroom. Well, he is, he's a cupbearer, isn't he? Cup. The, the cupbearer, but then the... Oh, it's... Wait, which way around is it? Is it E.T.? Uh, no, it's sap. Is it pronounced sap or cap? I think it's a sap. Cap, yeah. cap, cap and cap. Cup and sap? Correct. Well done. <laughs> And finally, the outermost solid layer of the earth and a comb or tuft, for example, on species of newt, grebe or tit. Crest and crest. Yes, crust and crest. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Kisumu, Mwanza, Bukaba and Kampala are among cities on or near... Bristol Hawkins. Lake Victoria. Correct. Three questions on the German chemist Ida Nodak for your bonuses. Nominated in three different years for a Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Ida Nodak was a co-discoverer of which rare element named after a major river in her homeland? Mm -hmm. The Rhine, yes. Rhenium. Rhenium. Correct. Secondly, at the time of its discovery in 1925, Rhenium occupied a gap in the periodic table Two spaces below which Group 7 element widely used in steelmaking? Manganese. Manganese. Correct. Nodak is also noted for an early proposal of what concept defined as the subdivision of a heavy atomic nucleus into two fragments of roughly equal mass? I need a two-word term, please. Fission. fission. But if, if it's a two-part, is it not really equal fission? Or do you think it's just nuclear fission? I just think it's nuclear fission. Do you think nuclear? Yeah. Nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see an electron dot diagram showing the full electronic structure of a molecule of a particular chemical compound. Electrons belonging to different atoms are coloured differently, but the colours themselves are not significant. For ten points, I need the preferred IUPAC name of this compound. Bristol Joinson. Methanol. It is methanol, yes. <laughs> Following on from methanol, your picture bonuses are three more chemical compounds similarly represented. First, give either the common name or the preferred IUPAC name of this compound. That is... Can't it's it's called it's it's one, one, um, it's it's one hydrogen and... It's hydrogen. Three... It's a, it's a three. That's a carbon. That's... Oh, that's um, chloroform. Do you, do you think? I think that's chloroform. Yeah. Yeah. Chloroform. It is chloroform or trichloromethane. Secondly, here I need the preferred IUPAC name of this common laboratory solvent. That's acetonitrile. It's nominate. Nominate Joinson. Acetonitrile. Correct. And finally, this is the electronic structure 
of a molecule of which element? Ooh, it's um, is it halogen. It's um, one, two, two, three, four. I think that's iodine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, iodine. Iodine. No, it's bromine. Never mind. Right, ten points for this. Introduced by the English Football League in January 2018. What code of conduct? <laughs> Bristol Allen. VAR. No. You lose five points. You can have the rest of the question, Birmingham, before you decide to buzz in, but you must buzz, you mustn't confer. What code of conduct was named after the late owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers? It requires every club to interview at least one minority candidate for coaching vacancies. Birmingham Blathing. Smith. No, it's the Rooney rule. <laughs> <laughs> right, ten points for this. Which three letters all appear at the end of words meaning a species of coffee distinct from robusta, a desiccant... Birmingham I Malone. ICA, ICA. Correct. <laughs> right, here is a set of bonuses on fictional hotels. Which film by the Coen brothers is set principally in the rundown Hotel Earl, where the title character is trying and failing to write his first feature film script? The Shining? Is that by the Coen Brothers? No, it's not. Um, I don't know. I think it's some Coen Brothers films. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Should I say I don't know? Sorry, we don't know. That's Barton Fink. Secondly, the desert resort of Vermilion Sands is the eponymous setting of a short story collection by which British science fiction writer? The stories explore surreal future art forms as well as typical themes of ennui and obsession. Arthur C. Clarke? No, it's J.G. Ballard. Finally, the Great Northern Hotel is a significant location in which television drama, which premiered in 1990? It is the residence of Agent Dale Cooper throughout the show's first two series. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks is right. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Which Japanese city is a setting in Kazuo Ishiguro's A Pale View of Hills, Camilla Shamsi's Burnt Shadows, and David Mitchell's The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoit? For more than 200 years, it was the only Japanese port where Europeans were permitted to trade. Birmingham Skull for Nagasaki. Nagasaki is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on Australia. With an area of about 68,000 square kilometres, Tasmania is about seven-eighths the size of which of the four home nations of the UK? Probably closer to Scotland than it is England. I mean, no, Scotland than it is Wales. But... Should we go with that, then? It's probably... Just Wales is really diddy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Scotland. Scotland? Scotland is correct, yes. The second largest island of Australia, Melville Island, is about 100 kilometres north of which mainland Australian capital? Um, is it in Queensland, so it would be Cairns or... Um... Cairns. Cairns? Cairns? No, it's Darwin. Cairns isn't a capital. What is the third largest island of Australia, about 100 kilometres southwest of Adelaide? It shares its name with a common macropod. Uh, kangaroo. Kangaroo. Kangaroo is correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Derived in part from the Latin for slipping, what term describes a substance such as an enzyme or toxin that loses characteristic properties at moderately high temperatures? It is the opposite. Birmingham Malone. Denature. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. It is the opposite of thermostable. Bristol Denton. Thermal thermo decaying. No, it's thermolabile. Right, we're going to take another starter question now. In the 9th and 10th centuries, Pliska and Preslav were capitals of... Bristol Hawkins. Bulgarian Empire. Correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on sporting achievements, Bristol. At the 2018 Commonwealth Games, the England netball team won gold under which head coach? Her two brothers have played football for England. Yeah, yeah. Neville. 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 Specifically? Do you know her first name? <laughs> we need the first name. Mary. Mary. 
No, it's Tracy Neville. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> The 2016 Rio Olympics saw the GB women's hockey team undefeated. They beat which world champions in the final following a penalty shootout? Netherlands. It's a, yeah, that makes sense. Netherlands. Correct. 2013 witnessed the biggest win in the history of which cup competition when the European ladies' golf team defeated the USA by 18 to 10? The Ryder Cup. Yeah. Is it, is that is it the female version? one? Yeah. Is, is it just called the Ryder Cup as well? I think it would just be the Ryder Cup. Do you think? Right, Do you think? Yeah. The Ryder Cup? That's the Solheim Cup. It's about time, I think, for a music round. We're going to take a music starter. You're going to hear part of a symphony. Ten points if you can name its composer. <laughs> Bristol Island. Haydn. No, you can hear a little more Birmingham if you wish. You may not confirm. Birmingham Lewis. Beethoven. It is Beethoven. It's okay. part of this uh, seventh symphony of the So that was the fourth movement thereof. It was used on the soundtrack of Wes Anderson's film The Darjeeling Limited. Your music bonuses are three more classical works that feature prominently in Anderson's films. Name the composer in each work, please. Firstly, I want the composer of this work, which makes use of a theme from a much earlier composition. Like old things, like a um, Copeland? No, that's Benjamin Britten. It's part of his Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra. And secondly... No, that's Eric Sati. And finally... Have an answer, Vaughan please. Yeah. Vaughan Williams? No, that's Prokofiev. Right, ten points for this. Meanings of what term include in biology the surface on which a sedentary organism occurs or grows and in biochemistry the molecule that a particular enzyme acts on? Birmingham skull form. Substrate. Substrate is right. <laughs> Your bonuses are on December the 10th. On December the 10th, 1508, the Pope, the Holy Roman Emperor, and the kings of France and Aragon formed the League of Cambrai to attack which Italian Republic? Um, something and that went Venice very good. Venice and... Where the Medici is? Florence? 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 No, it's Venice. <laughs> <laughs> On December the 10th, 1768, the first edition of which reference work was published in Edinburgh? An estimated 3,000 sets were eventually sold. Encyclopaedia Britannica? Correct. What document did the General Assembly of the United Nations adopt on the 10th of December 1948? Eleanor Roosevelt called it Humanities Magna Carta. Yeah. Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That's correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which proponent of new journalism examined the peculiarities of American culture in books ah. such as the... Crystal Hawkins! Hunter S. Thompson. No, you lose five points. In books such as the Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test, The Bonfire of the Vanities and The Right Stuff. Birmingham Malone. Tom Wolfe. Tom Wolfe is right. Right, Birmingham, these bonuses are on geology, comprising some of the oldest rocks in the world. The Precambrian complex, or Nice, of northwest Scotland is often named after which large Hebridean island? Sky's the biggest, isn't it? Is it? Um, is it? I have no idea. 
No, why not? Sky? No, it's Lewis. It's Lewisian. Which sea lock of northwest Scotland gives its name to a belt of sedimentary rock, particularly sandstone? <laughs> Literally no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we don't know. That's Loch Torridon. And finally, designated as a national park in 2003, which Scottish mountain range gives its name to a form of gem-quality smoky quartz? I know the Cairngorm is, is a national park in Scotland. Should we go for that one? <laughs> yes. Yes. The yeah. Cairngorm? Cairngorms is correct, yes. <laughs> right, 10 points for this. About 70 miles from John O'Groats, which headland is the extreme northwest point of the British mainland? Its name comes from the Norse for a turning point and is unrelated to violent anger or the raging of the sea. Birmingham skull for Thurso? No. One of you buzz Bristol? Bristol Denton? Roth? Roth is correct. It's Cape Roth, yes. <laughs> OK, your bonuses this time, Bristol, are on rock bands. Based in Toronto, which band has a six-letter name that can also mean a criterion or set of criteria stated in quantifiable terms. Um, Theorem, no, no, quantifiable terms. Oh, six um, a empirical. Um, who did Rush? No, no, Rush. It's not Rush. It's not Canadian, Rush. but um, who sounds like a like a Nickelback? They're Canadian. It's not Nickelback. It's not Nickelback. Um, we don't know, do we? No, I can't let's, make it. let's pass. Pass. Thank you. <laughs> Took a long time getting there, didn't it? Metric is what I was looking for. Originating in California, which band's eight-letter name may also mean a mass of exposed limestone marked by fissures and incisions? For example, the Burren in County Clare. What's the limestone pavement? Is it pavement? Pavement. That's yeah. band. Yeah. pavement. Pavement is correct. Well done. Which US band has a three-word name that may also refer to figures such as Alfonso the Brave, Sancho the Fat, and Bermudo the Gouty. Where are they monarchs? Or? Sancho. Um, Kings of Leon. Yes. 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 Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take another picture round. To your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a figure in the arts. Ten points if you can give me his name. Bristol Hawkins. Quentin Blake. It is Quentin Blake, yes. Well done. <laughs> In 1999, he was named the UK's first children's laureate. For your picture bonuses, I simply want you to name three more children's laureates. Firstly, for five... That's Michael um, Rosen. Michael yeah, Rosen, yeah, yes. it is. Michael Rosen. It is, yes. Secondly, who's this? I don't think oh, I'm... a Mallory Blackman. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a... yeah. Mallory Blackman. It is Mallory Blackman, yes. And finally, who's this? Um, Jacqueline Wilson, isn't yes. it? Yes. Jacqueline Wilson. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Born in Russia in 1792, Nikolai Lobachevsky is noted for his work on which non-Euclidean... <laughs> Birmingham skull for... Hyperbolic geometry. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Birmingham, are on chemistry. In each case, I will give you the name of a chemical or chemicals and I want you to give me the formula. So, for example, water would, of course, be H2O. First, the formula of glucose, fructose and galactose. C6H6. C6H1. C6H12O6. Correct. Secondly, the structural isomers ribose and deoxyribose. They're five carbon sugars, so um, just one less, one less oxygen too. I don't know, or the same number of oxygens. What's it like C five, H twelve, H ten, H ten, O five, C five, H ten, O five. Correct. And finally, lactose, maltose, and sucrose. Is it got two joined together, right? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Two joined, yeah. So is it just double C12 but minus an H2O? So C12, H22, yeah. O11. I think so. 12, 22, so 11. 
C12 H22 O11. Correct. Well done. Well done. <laughs> right, another starter question. For what does the letter S stand in the name of the international authority known as the ISA, which regulates... Ah. Bristol Allen! Standards. No. Uh, you lose five points, which regulates activities, for example, mining in wide areas of the earth beyond national jurisdiction. Bumming and plaything. Surveying? No, it's seabed. So we're going to take another starter question now with the scores on absolutely level pegging. Daniel Quilp, Dick Swiveller and Nell Trent are characters in which novel first serialised in 1840? It is one of the few novels by Charles Dickens to have a title that does not name a character. Birmingham Plaything. Bleak House. Nope. Uh, Bristol Joynton. The Pickwick Papers. No, it's the old curiosity shop. Ten points for this. Which year saw the release of Frank Capra's film It's a Wonderful Life? The same year also saw the launch of the Penguin Classics imprint, Churchill's Iron Curtain speech... Uh, Bristol Allen. 1945. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Churchill's Iron Curtain speech and the first meeting of the United Nations. Birmingham Skull for 1948. No, it was 1946. <laughs> Ten points for this. I need a two-character alphanumeric designation here. Ergo calciferol has what vitamin descriptor name? Birmingham alone. D1. No. Bristol Joynton. K1. No, it's D2. Right, ten points for this. An Iranian who died at the age of 40 in 2017. Who was the first woman to receive... Birmingham Skullful! Right. Marion Mezakarni. You were just beaten by the gong there. So, many congratulations to you, Birmingham. 125, you just did it. Bristol, bad luck. 120 is not a bad effort, really, and you were in the lead for much of the contest, but uh, you sort of lost it a bit towards the end. But thank you very much for joining us, and thank you and congratulations to you, Birmingham. We'll look forward to seeing you definitely in round two. Until then, I hope you can join us for another first-round match next time, but until then, it's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Birmingham University. Bye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.